What's up guys, this is Mark from DS Genie and I'm back in my dungeon today. Um <laughs> the co-working space. I have fun I don't really have fun. There's fast internet, but I want grind camp to start because I want people actually doing cool shit. But anyway, so let me talk about a couple of things I could get your account suspended. How to get it back when those things happen. And just not to freak out in general and understand what's going on. So a couple, there are a few things that can get your account suspended before you even start, right? If, if you have never sold on eBay before, you never bought, really bought on eBay before, and you open a, a US account, let's say you or Canadian or wherever you're from, you open an account in your home country, but from outside, like in one of these third world countries like Nicaragua, that is going to create an immediate red flag. Um, they would let you open the account. They would let everything happen. They will even let you pay for the, um, the store. And as soon as you list something, generally speaking, you're going to get a red flag. So if I were one of you guys who are outside of the country and want to open, wanna open a, a U.S. account or whatever, I would get someone within the U.S. to open the account to list your first couple items. Or you could do like a remote desktop, desktop and connect to your computer, your home, your, a computer in your home country and, and start selling from there. And then you could call, like call eBay, tell them that like, you have virtual assistance in another country or you're traveling and you just don't want to have any problem and that would clear things up now if that happens and you do get suspended call ebay because a lot of people like freak out like what actually the reason why i did this i'm doing this video is because a dude messaged me yesterday about that about what to do and he was on he was on he was not almost ready he was gearing up to open another account like in his wife's name or something and i was like dude call ebay first like you don't want to like accept defeat before you try solving the problem like a lot of times ebay would like verify your identity use your social and stuff and correct it and then you're fine sometimes you'll get like an email saying like they removed all your listings because someone hacked your account or some shit and that's just that just comes up again with the overseas thing. Another thing, so I'm going to do three different things. So another thing that might get your account suspended is if, like, you can't really avoid this. Like, one of the reasons I tell you guys how to get initial feedback is to buy a lot of ebooks, a lot of 99 cents ebooks, because although it's not seller feedback. On the eBay platform, you don't see it from the seller's page. So a lot of people don't give a fuck. A lot of people will purchase, will look at your feedback and just purchase from you. And the fact that you did transactions on eBay gives, adds that trust factor that you need to complete a sale. But when you open a brand new account, I've seen a lot of people, including myself, open a brand new account, run and buy 30, 30 um, eBooks and then list the item and then you get red flagged and shut down again. The reason why you get shut down is because that is a typical, um, how do you say it? That's like a typical trend or typical process that people go through to get feedback, especially a lot of scammers. That's just the bottom line. So that activity causes eBay to push a red flag and close your account down. Now remember, a lot of these shutdowns are automated by software so when you call and you let them know hey that's me blah blah again they verify your identity and they could open it back up there are some small situations where they won't and that's just something that they choose to do because it's high risk like we can't get around that um if you're getting up to drop ship on ebay one thing you might want to do is open an account and slowly get the things done so open the account today Maybe buy one ebook or buy, I don't know, some cheap shit on eBay. Then maybe list something from 
your home and just sell it some bullshit right you'll get you a couple bucks and you'll get a sale now these are just ideas you could use to do it i know some of you guys don't have the patience but if you're getting into this for the long term if you're getting into this to make money for the next year two years three years sacrificing a week or two isn't going to kill you you know what i mean it might stop you from getting into the machine, but it's not going to kill you um and the last thing like when you fall behind on customer service eBay is struggling to compete with Amazon. That's the truth. That's the bottom line. In order to compete, in order to keep customers coming back to eBay, they want good customer service. eBay, unlike Amazon, doesn't sell anything. They don't provide customer service. So what they have to do is make sure that the sellers provide good customer service so that people come back to eBay and keep, keep buying. Now, so their metrics that follow your your interaction with the customers and that can get your account shut down. Now, not just shut down because I have a suspicion that when you don't answer messages, sales slow down. I've seen that at least 20 times. I want to say 50, but at least 20 times over the past three, over the past five years I've been doing this. Fuck. Um, I don't have data to prove this, but a lot of days when I'm like, like why are sales so low? And I look at my messages, like, those motherfuckers didn't, meaning the VAs, didn't check my messages. Maybe that's why I don't have any sales. Or oh, it's slowed down because I don't, I haven't gone a day without sales in maybe four years. Um, so yeah, so once you do not fall behind on customer service, on messages, on uploading tracking numbers, especially especially on fucking cases like there's no reason for ebay to close a case for you so those are the three things that can get your account suspended do not freak out because chat more than 50 percent of the time i would say about 70 percent of the time you can get your account reinstated now if you just fuck up and fall behind on customer service that's the one thing that will really put a stick up your ass but and screw you up royally but the other two anytime you you get suspension warnings call eBay immediately let them know it's you let them know that like you're a seller blah blah, blah. and chances are you're not gonna get screwed anyway love you guys shop you will make that money thanks for watching please subscribe I got to 2200 I want to get to 3000 subscribers and check in the description for cool shit they're like free mastermind group free training um, join the SGME stuff. Anyway, later.